And here is my last cereal breakfast of the trip. So here we are in our last few minutes in Syria. Very sad. In the Al Adam Palace. It's very cool. Yes, it's very beautiful. It's the history of this place. Uh, basically, there is a famous uh, uh, elite person in Damascus. He um, built this place. Uh, he also built Khan Esad Basha, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's one of the most beautiful historical buildings in Damascus today. So, um, it is very nice in here. Very nice. Entry only costs like 30 cents, more or less. Mm. Nice view of the city, the mountains. Yeah, not even close. Nothing compares to Aleppo. Yeah. Nothing like using a little bit of Wasta Guys, that's to uh... get into the citadel of Damascus. That's the Probably the first tourists here, but I can't confirm or deny that. Just so you know, the word Wasta is a word that I'm going to be using quite often especially in my videos regarding the Arab world. Check out all of these beautiful mosaics. It essentially means using your influence or connections to get something you want. Oh, here we are. Thank God, I've legally gotten my exit stamp. I've legally exited Syria. Now, the last hurdle, the hard part is over. Hey, three <laughs> buff. <laughs> That's how you know it's fancy. Yeah. So in Lebanon, I decided to meet up with a person that I befriended in the airport in Yerevan. And we decided to go to this nifty little geological museum that has a lot of different kinds of minerals and rocks from all over the world. What are these? Radioactive. Somebody say radioactive. Are you sure this is safe for us to be this close? No, no, no. To be honest, that's not safe. Uh, I don't know. I believe that's not safe. So this computer, you know, it's actually surprising, a very high-tech museum, has a database of all of the rocks and minerals that were brought into this museum from all over the world. Well, the computer's still on. Colombia, Venezuela, so when we go to the Kaiba, 
some of the uh, villages there. My new friends Ibrahim and Dima. Lebanon is a very unique country in regards to the Middle East because Christians and Muslims form communities that are very distinct from each other but used to be quite intermingled historically. Yeah. Got a document for the gram. <laughs> 